everyone, it's Sarah from www.pinkcricket.com and I have a quick tutorial for you today. I've been asked quite a few times to do some more tutorials on Sure Cuts A Lot and Make The Cut. So I'm going to show you both of those today and how to weld within them. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to start off with Sure Cuts A Lot. If you have Make The Cut, just hang tight and I'll get to it, I promise. I'm going to be making um, these cute little Easter egg baskets that are shaped like Easter eggs from svgcuts.com. And I'll show you those um, at the end with a little picture of the completed project. But first I want to show you guys how to weld in both, both um, programs. So the first name that I'm going to be doing to personalize these little baskets is Alexis. So I'm going to choose the A. I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to click Weld. It's the right size, so I'm going to leave it like that. Then I'm going to click off of there. And I'm going to choose a lowercase l. I'm going to drag it with these crossed arrows and make sure it's overlapping that A somewhere on the A. Okay, and then I'm going to click weld over here on the right hand side and I'll click off of that. Then I'll choose an E. I'll move it. Make sure it's overlapping. Click weld. Click off of it. Then choose an X. Move it with those little arrows. So basically we're doing the same thing over and over again until we finish our word. Click weld. Choose the I scooch that over till I see where I want to weld it, which I think I think I want to weld it at the bottom. I like that it gives you lots of control over where you want to weld it exactly. And then the S, we're going to do that little S right there, click weld, and we'll click off of it. Now to see what it's going to look like, we can just go up to cutter and look at preview. And then if I have gray in between all those spots, then I know I've welded them. It looks like that I skipped this one, so no problem. If you forget one, just click on it again, click weld, and then that one says it's welded. So let's check it out now. There it is. There's the gray. So I must have skipped that one. All right, so that's how you do it in Sure Cuts A Lot, then this will cut out all connected, which makes things a little bit easier. So let's go to make the cut, and I'll show you how to do it in there. Okay, this one we're going to be in a different font and we're just going to pick our letters, first our uppercase letter, and we're going to move it with the middle of this one, that's a little different. And then we're going to go ahead and pick our lowercase letters, and we can do this one all together. So I'm just going to go ahead and move that A and have it overlap. Then I'm going to click off of it and then go find my next letter. Oops. And then have it overlap. Then go find my E. Have it overlap. And then my N. Then once I have all of the letters on there and they're all connected, I'm going to highlight them all within a box. Just drag and put a box around all of the letters and then go down here at the bottom to this double box which says weld or you can use control and the W. Then click that and it will show you automatically that they're already welded together. So that's how you do it and make the cut. So that's already to be printed out and cut out as well. So that's it. Be sure to check out my pictures of my projects at www.pinkcricket.com and if you want the same Easter egg file that I'm using it's at svgcuts.com. Thanks everyone.